So of course, the end of the season's approaching, a lot of big games ahead of you. So what how's the feeling in the squad at the moment? Yeah, um me and the lads, especially with the, the managers, have sat down and looked where we can improve from previous games, um and what, what we can do to kind of keep fighting for the rest of the season, the games that we've got coming up, what we can do to win them games and focus on getting as many points as we can. Of course, Blackpool are also struggling down there at the bot at the moment. So how big a result could it be just to give you a bit of momentum heading into the latter end of the yeah, campaign? Yeah, uh, massive. Yeah, the momentum that we need. Um, I think if we win this one on Saturday, I think it does give us a big boost to go on and win the next uh, four or five games. So yeah, big boost. Is this a good game to have or just to be playing someone who's in the same situation as yourselves? Yeah, uh, I think the last few games we've 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 had good chances. We've we've been the better team team at times, but um, like like I said, the next four or five games is a vital. So yeah, I think this this Saturday is a, a good one to uh, try and get the three points. What's been the feeling after the last few games? Just been a bit of frustration that you've not maybe been able to leave a better mark coming out of games, just having periods instead of a full match. Yeah, um, frustrating and disappointing moments um, from when we've not come away from games with the points that we wanted. Uh, but at the same time, there's stuff that we look at with the manager and, and these good things that come out of the games that we can take into the, the, the games on the on the week after. Of course, the manager's been involved in a few great escapes we've been over years. So you're just looking maybe back to history, seeing what the club's done before and hopefully you can replicate something else like that this season. Yeah, I think that's the, the manager's aim really, just to um, keep coming at us with information to try and make us better on and off the pitch and uh, just keep fighting for the next few games. How have you created your development this year? Have you just enjoyed breaking into that first team and getting games under your belt? Yeah, yeah, uh, really enjoyed it. Um, it's been a big step, but a good test at the same time, which I've really enjoyed, yeah. As it feels like seeing fans obviously talking about you on social media and stuff like that, do you try to avoid it or do you enjoy yeah, it when you um, see fans? I try it? and stay away from the social media side. Like, I, like, I post myself, but... like. From the fans' point of view, I, I listen to them that try and help the team, but I stay away from from all the fuss. So do you sort of keep you stay grounded? Don't get too carried away with one little performance, or if it's a poor performance, just try and keep grounded and stay level headed. Yeah, just the main focus. I mean, the lads is um, seeing the rest of the season on, seeing how uh, how well we can do, how many points we can get. So, Was yeah. it a target for you this year to play so much football? Was it come as a bit of surprise to sort of? find yourself in the first team so often? Uh, I'll always set myself goals but um, I didn't see me playing this many games in the championship but um, football is a roller coaster, so and that's what you've got to be prepared for. So. It must be a fantastic experience to have all these championship games with your belt at such a young age as well just to experience what is a very tough league. Yeah, um, yeah it's an unbelievable feeling um, but like I said it's just game after game so you've got to focus and be prepared for the next game so yeah. You must be doing something like Jane to impress a couple of coaches this year for them to pick you and have faith in you. Yeah, like I said, I try and just set, set, set myself targets and try and um, be the best I can be and then let the rest do the work, yeah. Of course, before you joined Wigan as a young player, you was, was it City and Liverpool you was involved in as well? So yeah. with that sort of kind of involved ground in stuff, that sort of background, just how does that help your football? And yeah, like, I think coming through academies of different clubs always prepares you for the big world kind of thing, but... No, I think like like I said in the previous interview, like Wigan for the last four or five years has has been the best for me. So yeah. What sort of makes it stand out to move? Also, obviously, what big clubs? What obviously the academy is well expected here. So what makes it just different? Um, I've always said that this this is like a family. Um, always prepares you. Always gives you the advice when it's bad, when it's good, and they always stick with you and 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 lead you in the right direction. Is there more of a connection with people around the club than you would have obviously Liverpool or City so I mean, because obviously they're such big organisations you have more connection with um, clubs yeah you, you build relationships in, in any club that you're at but uh, at Wigan I think I've built lifetime relationships and, and connections with good players and good managers and good coaches and in your obviously past have you played alongside any players who've come up alongside you who've impressed who might, who have big names now Um. Well, just the players that I'm playing with at the minute, really. Um, not even just the centre half partnerships or the the full team are obviously great on and off the pitch with me. Um, but I've, these have been a couple of players at Liverpool that I was with who are sniffing around the first team now, so it's good to see. 
nice being part of that group and seeing different people obviously thriving alongside yourself. Yeah, it's always always good to see um, previous friends from different club, clubs coming through and, and um, achieving their goals that they've set as well. So, yeah, happy for them. I'm just planning for me, but any more uh, goals set for yourself? Anything else in the long term or short term that you'd like to achieve in your career? Um, no, just take it step by step and, and keep trying to perform well and uh, impress the manager, the team, the fans. Charlie, you talked briefly on kind of your development here at Wigan. What's it been like working under you? Obviously, you've worked under a few managers now. What's 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 Sean Maloney been like for you as a player, personally? Um, since he come in, um, I think he's he's been honest with me. Um, he's given me the feedback that I've needed, and on and off the pitch, he's he's given me the opportunity to go and, go and play and, and show what I can do. So, f- for me personally, I, I I really rate him as a manager and and, and a person. Uh, and I think he's good for me and my development. You wanted us to play really aggressively against Swansea. We didn't obviously get the result, but in terms of playing high, you know, being aggressive, um, being at the back, do you enjoy playing that way in terms of on the front foot, trying to win the ball back? Yeah, um, I spoke to the manager the last couple of days. It's uh, especially the Swansea game. It was um, a tough task for me and the lads to go out and do that because it's it's hard playing the, the way that he wants to and the, to be so aggressive, but. Um, yeah, I do like to be on the front foot because we able to get after teams and then the momentum uh, kicks in and then we start being the better team. So yeah. In terms of in possession, you know, seems to be one of your strengths with the ball. You like playing out from the back, finding them long balls as well. As him and his coaching staff, have they helped you develop that side of your game as well? Yeah, uh, absolutely. I think the managers, um, the managers wants us to play and get the ball on the floor. And, and play as quickly and as the best as we, we can. Um, and one of my strengths is probably passing. Um, so yeah, he encourages me to try and look for them different passes. But the, most of the back three are, are told to look for them type of passes. And in terms of the mentality, it seems like um, we've got a bit more of a mentality now. Where whoever we play in this division, we, we go out and we can try. And, you know, we know we can match them on the field. Is that something that you you picked up as well? Yeah, uh, like I said, me, me, the lads, obviously meetings day in, day out with the, with the manager uh, and we look at the strengths and weaknesses um, of other teams and, and how we can hurt them. Um, so when we've when we've watched the analysis and, and things like that, we've we try to go out there and hurt teams as much as we can.